When you look at the image that we put in place over here, you see that uh, all around the borders we have, well, their margins exactly what they are, and you got to think to yourself, well, well, why is that? Why is that happening? Um, well, it's happening for the same reason that uh, you see stuff like uh, your H1 being bigger than your paragraph text, or your strong uh, tag being made to look bold. Uh, these are browser defaults and every browser has default styling and the reason for the default styling is it's kind of if the web author doesn't define some kind of style to it you don't want everything to look the same you want to kind of differentiate it by its uh, content type you know whether it's a paragraph an h1 a quote all that so this also is one of the reasons what leads to browser inconsistencies. So sometimes you look at your layout in one browser versus another and then for no good reason it's uh it's slightly different. And it's you know it's like a lot of times well short of internet explorer uh most of the time the difference the differences between your layout could be a couple of pixels of padding or whatever and, and it'll drive you nuts. Um what people do use are these things called CSS resets and if you google CSS resets um, one of the first ones that will come up is Eric Meyer's CSS reset and this guy is a, um, he's a big name in the web design CSS world and one of the things he made is this it's a CSS reset and here if you just kinda look at some of the stuff that he does particularly in here he sets the margin bodies and borders and all that stuff to zero and then he's got some other things over here and he's got a ton of tags obviously this is CSS and he's grouping this all together um, and what happens is the idea behind this kind of code is that you start with a baseline of all the browsers acting the same and then you kind of design from there uh, there's also actually another one called the universal reset which see he defines all these things specifically but you could also do um, something similar by using an asterisk and that's a, that's the uh, symbol right above the 8 you do an asterisk and then you do this and the asterisk stands for a wildcard that means any tag anything that is in there you could give it like a margin of zero um, there's benefits and drawbacks to using this obviously the bet well there's I think a big drawback to using something this global and that's gonna reset everything and you're gonna you may end up just writing a lot more code to combat the zero margin where some of those default styles would have been fine um, the other thing is people say that this is really processor heavy because now all of a sudden your browser has to margin out everything so behind the scenes it's adding zero margins to all this stuff um, anyway I don't think we actually have to use a reset for this um, I do and I don't use the resets it's kinda of more of the people I'm working with that I'll use it uh, and actually not just that it, the complexity of the project will define it too I think this is pretty pretty simple currently or I'm, I'm always trying to part, part of the effort when you're coding should be how can I get the result I'm looking for with the least amount of code that I'm looking for so here's what I'm gonna do um, what exactly is causing this to happen? Well, uh, this browser Chrome thing, if it's, if this thing's, it's likely, it could be one of two things. It could be a margin on the image, or potentially it could be padding on the body, right? Because, uh, that's how the box model works. So, let's start by seeing if it's the margin on the image. Um, there it is. I just set margin on the image to zero. I'll give it a refresh, and no, it doesn't do it. Okay. Now, since it didn't do anything, before I go adding more code, I'm going to delete the code I put in, right? I don't want to make a mess of things, and I didn't change anything, so, so far, so good. So then, what about this idea of the body? Are there styles on the body uh, creating these, I guess, padding? Well, let's see. If I go padding zero, and I go back and I refresh it. Oh, that didn't do it either. 
then maybe it could be margins because actually come to think of it I don't know this this could be the whole HTML the browser Chrome thing nah it's gonna be uh, in I'll keep the body because adding stuff to HTML is uh, you gotta be a little more careful with that uh, for reasons that I don't want to go into now but let's do margin zero and nice okay so we know now that by default browsers have some kind of margin style that uh, is affecting things and when we look see look Safari looks good in Safari and then if we open this bad boy up in Chrome nice okay well we got that part out of the way so now we have this resizable image um, time to put some content over this thing